Hey, what's up guys? This is Bala24, bringing you another Black Ops gameplay, and this time I'm playing Remember, some free-for-all on Fidel Castro's private golf course, aka Hazard. And if you guys are watching this video, I guess that means that I have been posted as this week's Sniper of the Week. And before I even begin, I'll keep it quick, but I just want to give a big, big thank you to Blaine, to Snipinator, to whatever you want me to call you, because I really do appreciate getting selected as this week's Sniper of the Week. It is a huge honor to get noticed, and the fact that in one hour this video will probably get more views than I've had on my channel total, that's pretty cool. So again, I just want to say thank you, and if I get the chance, if I'm ever in your neck of the woods, you're ever in my neck of the woods, Snipe, I would love to buy you a drink just to say thank you. So, and yes, I am old enough to be able to buy you a drink. <laughs> But anyways guys, I uh, want to give you a little bit intro to my channel. Essentially what I am is a sniper. I love to snipe and I will post primarily sniping gameplay on my channel at all times. I will post probably 5 or 6 sniping games in a row, maybe one red gun game. But for the most part I just love to snipe. It's what attracted me to Call of Duty and it's what keeps me playing. So obviously if you're subbed to sniping hitter you probably enjoy watching some sniping. And that's what I like to do. And also, I kind of want to give you guys a little bit of a disclaimer that I am nowhere near a free-for-all player. I just wanted to get a free-for-all gameplay for this Sniper of the Week, but I am not a free-for-all player by any means, just because of the amount of people that hide all the time, and it's really hard for me to play aggressive when people are always hiding. But, with that being said, a little bit more about my channel. I am primarily a commentator. And what I mean by that is I like to focus on my commentaries over my gameplays. And essentially I like to come up with really good topics, whether it be something that is related to the gaming community, something that is related to life in general, whatever else it may be. I just love coming up with commentaries and, dis and topics that start discussions. And that is really what I love doing because... In the end, I love interact interacting with my subscribers. I love having discussions. I love having conversations. And you'll see on my videos that I try to come up with as many topics as possible that can start a discussion and that people will leave a lot of comments on that we can really start to think about. And it's really, it's really a ton of fun. In the end, I'm just enjoying what I'm doing. And I'm having a ton of fun with this YouTube thing. It's just been a great opportunity to meet people, a great chance to play with some great people. And yes, I do play with my subs. I play um, pretty often. I play fairly often, a couple times a week. And if I get an invite from subs, if I get something like that, I'll usually invite them to my party depending on how full we are. So yes, I do play with my subs. I'm glad to play with you guys. I'm glad to thank each and every one of you that really do like my videos and watch my videos. It is just a ton of fun. And essentially what I wanted to talk to you guys about, I wanted to give you another little sample of essentially the kind of commentaries that I would do on my channel. And for this one, I wanted to discuss keeping your expectations realistic. And I obviously I could take that into a couple different areas. I could go into, you know, personal life, I could go into gaming. I can go into several different areas as far as keeping realistic expectations. But what I mean by it is that for gaming in the gaming community I love that as a community we have high expectations for the games that we play for the the commentaries that we watch for everything it is great to have high expectations but there is a point where those expectations become way too much and become way too advanced and that if something doesn't meet your expectations even to the smallest amount it is instantly a failure and I want to use Black Ops as an example. This game was incredibly hyped up. People were awaiting this game for so long after Modern Warfare 2. We were all excited about this game. We all wanted to see how great it could be. And so we created this huge hype around the game. And in the end, because whether it either had several faults or whether it really was overhyped, this game for most people did not live up to its expectations. And a lot of that can also be attributed to not just the game developer, which is what most of us hold our expectations to, which most of us expect and really want to create a good game, 
we want the developers to create the best game possible and they should i completely agree that it is the developers job to create as good of a game as they possibly can however with the game as big as call of duty with as big of a crowd as call of duty games do have it is really hard to live up to those expectations especially when you consider that probably majority of the community majority of the people that play call of duty are just casual gamers we that watch these youtube videos the people that are really interactive in youtube in anything else in playing competitively all the people that are essentially the most vocal about this game we are essentially the minority in this game as well because we do not have the the large support that people do when you consider hundreds of thousands of people are online at any given time in this game but most youtube videos will get you know maybe like at least for the big commentators will get a couple thousand views that's just consider we are a very small percentage of this gaming community and while it's good for us to have high expectations the things that we want out of games might not be what the larger percentage of the community wants and so that is why it's important for us to have realistic high expectations and with that being said I'm obviously I want to take some more things about black ops into account with um, there are certain things in black ops that are inherently bad Second chance is one of them. The host connection, the host selection, whatever you want to call it, that is another one. Those are two major issues that are problems that were created by the developer. Those are something that are Treyarch's fault and are essentially problems with the, with the game from the beginning. But most other issues in this game are not bad in themselves. And I kind of want to explain what I mean by that. And one of them, and I really hope you guys understand the point I'm trying to make with this, is that Ghost is not inherently bad. It is not by its own, on its own, a bad perk in this game. Modern Warfare 2 and COD 4 both had their own styles of Ghost, their own versions of it. But the issue with Ghost in Black Ops is the way people Enemy play and the way people use it when they play. It is not bad on its own like I said but when you get people constantly hiding in corners and using different guns and abusing the faults that this game has abusing the the possibilities that they can in this game that is when a game has faults and when it seems like that is something that the developer messed up when in reality it's something that the community has been uh, abusing in the game and causing that problem so Again, I just want to hold you guys and I want to show you guys that there are things that we can gripe about. And to be perfectly honest, you can complain about anything you want in this game. Nothing, nobody is ever going to stop you from complaining about something in this game. You can complain all you want to whoever you want and nothing's going to stop you. But I just would like people to have realistic expectations for what they see, for what they do, and how they play a game. If people are always complaining about certain things in the game that are not inherently bad then it really reflects a negative image on the game and so again guys i really i'm out of time i really hope you guys enjoyed this please come check out my channel if you enjoyed it this is bala 24 and i'm out